Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home, and I'm super excited you're here today to join me to make some super easy homemade red velvet truffles. These truffles are so easy. It only takes about 30 minutes all in all to completely make a large batch of these wonderful truffles and they're perfect for gift giving on Valentine's Day. The first thing I'm gonna do is prepare my red velvet cake mix. You can use any brand. I'm using a Duncan Hines and I'm gonna use a nine by 13 inch pan. I've already buttered and floured the pan. Then to the bowl, I've added three eggs, one cup of water and a half a cup of canola oil. Then I'll just add in the cake mix and mix it all up and bake this in the oven at 350. This red velvet cake is out of the oven. It baked in only 30 minutes. Now we'll let it cool and start on with the rest of our recipe. Now that the cake is all done, we're going to take it and crumble it all up in a great big bowl. Now I've just added about a half a can of Betty Crocker cream cheese frosting and I'm going to mix this in. I'll add a little bit more if I need to. Once it's all mixed together, it'll look very sticky and it'll be able to you'll be able to pack it into a ball really easily. I put a piece of wax paper on a metal tray and now I'm going to start scooping out the little balls of cake and then I'll roll them and make them nice and smooth. Now that all of the little cake balls are rolled out on the tray, I'm gonna put the entire tray in the freezer for 30 minutes. The cake balls have been in the freezer for 30 minutes and I have a large tray that I put a piece of wax paper on and now I'm gonna take a half a bag of chocolate chips. These are white chocolate and they're baking chips. I'm going to put them in a bowl and heat them in the microwave. You could also use melting chips as well. I'm going to put these in and melt them for 30 seconds. Then I'll stir them and melt them again for another 30 seconds and evaluate to see if I need to heat, heat them one more time for 30 seconds more. They're getting nice and soft. I'm going to stir them and put them back in real quick for another 30 seconds. After putting the chocolate chips in the microwave for the second time, I took them out after 30 seconds and stirred them again and the chocolate was just right. It was ready to dip the cake balls. I took each cake ball one at a time, put it in the bowl of chocolate and lightly coated it all over. Then I took a fork and lifted it out so the excess chocolate could drain off. I set it on the wax paper tray and continued on with the next one. I'm going to decorate mine with some red and pink sprinkles. And here's how the red velvet chocolate covered truffles turned out. Be sure to stay to the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'll have two other Valentine inspired videos coming up. All you have to do to watch them is just click on them. I hope that you give these super easy, super delicious truffles a try and realize just how easy they are to make. It took no time at all and I'm so happy with the way they turned out. They're simply delicious. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the notification bell. and. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day.